I was in Stickham in a room where there was a debate about free will, and it had these elements that are getting used, that are getting to be regular elements in this debate, but, um, you know, I think the issue is a couple things. One, there is something sort of supernatural so far about any explanation of will, and it's just that we haven't explained it, and a lot of these people are reacting to to this idea that it's somewhat supernatural, that it would require some supernatural explanation. So they reject it. They say, oh, it's just like Santa Claus, so I reject it. But the thing is, reality has some strange, almost supernatural elements to it. Um, you don't get to reject things just because they seem too fantastic. You know, general re relativity, a bit fantastic, doesn't mean you get to reject it. The other thing is that they use an idea of cause and effect. But the thing is, um, the idea of cause and effect is a theory. There's some truth to it, and there's some misunderstanding to it. It's just a theory like any other. And they want to use this idea of cause and effect to say, look, there, nothing can be free, you know. And yet, no, you know, scientists don't say that stuff anymore. Because the, lo the laws of cause and effect have undergone a huge transformation in quantum mechanics. And those laws collapse down to the laws we understand on the macroscopic level. But really, as a law in nature, cause and effect, you know, has a new conception. And nobody has really made sense entirely of that conception, but we know the old one doesn't make sense. So why would you take the old one and conclude something as radical as human beings don't really make choices? You can't, because that old view of cause and effect is just a theory. And when it didn't fit with the evidence, you know, that doesn't mean the evidence has to change. That means the theory has to change. You see, when you have your theory and the evidence doesn't fit with it, sometimes it means you've taken evidence wrong, but if you double-check the evidence and it still doesn't fit together, then there's something wrong with your theory. And that's what happened to deterministic cause and effect. So that's over, deterministic cause and effect. If you have some other reason, fine, and I think really this, uh, this um, fear of metaphysics is the reason. I don't want a metaphysical cause and effect. I'm only going to accept one that is a physical explanation, but it doesn't mean that we're not making choices. And as long as we still seem to be making choices, then I'm going to say it seems like we make choices.